Hey, we are outside of Barnes and Noble. See? On a very windy October day, we're gonna go in and see if we can look around at some stuff in there. I just wanted to show you the front of the store. See, it's really big. It's, it's very nice. We are in uh, Burlington, North Carolina today, and uh, we're gonna go in and check the place out. Okay, we're inside the store and it's, it's really windy out there. <laughs> I wanna show you when, you, when you first come into Barnes & Noble, you will notice that they have these, um, they have these little kits up. See, we're just kind of in this little, little entryway right here. They'll have little kits, like they have a, this is cute, a cuddly cacti crochet. How cute is that? So, and they, you can make handmade soaps. Harvest would be very proud. Oh, this is pretty. They have classic Chinese brush paint. It's really nice. You can even learn how to knit. So they have all these things. They have full art. I bet that's fun. Sticker mosaics. The felt taxidermist. Create off the wall animals. And then over here they have activity kits. So they have all these little things here. I think it's good if you're looking for a gift for someone. Oh my God, my cats would kill me. Cats in sweaters. Yeah, my cats would not go for that. Organic dog biscuit cookbook. Nice. Star Wars, you can build R2-D2. Contains all the pieces needed to build the ultimate paper model, measuring a foot tall. Oh, and you can learn how to do rock painting. Nice. Really cool. Oh, a tabletop catapult. That's cool. So we're going to go on inside now, and we're going to look around a little bit at some of the other stuff. This one's laid out a little bit differently than the one in Greensboro. But um, over in this part, they have toys. I know you don't normally come to Barnes & Noble looking for toys, but... Oh, look! How cute is that? It's like a little milk carton. And a... Ooh, look! <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Look at the little... I don't even know what these are. You don't have to tell me in the comments. It's okay. I'm not really wondering. Um, ooh, Legos. I've never seen Legos in Barnes & Noble before. I love these architecture sets. They're so neat. Um, you probably want to look at books, though. Okay, we'll get away from here. These are card games. Sushi Dice, Outpost to Siberia, Where Words, Steampunk Dice Set. Now that's cool. Oh, look at these dice cups. These are nice. Was oh, that Elvish? Look at that. Looks like it. Oh, Antidote. I've never heard of these things. I don't know what they are, but all kinds of little card games. Mind, memory, and logic. All kinds of different things here. Ooh, true genius. Okay, books. Books, books, books. Sorry. Over here we have the little, it's like a little coffee shop kind of place. We have activity books. Tough hangman for your dad. <laughs> More activity books. Let's see. Oh, cookbooks. Yay. They have out books here uh, for celebrating the Christmas season. 100 Most Beautiful uh, Christmas Songs. Oh, the cat who came for Christmas. The cat who came back for Christmas. I guess they tried to get rid of him or something. I don't know. Alton Brown, Everyday Cook. I don't, I don't really know a lot about chefs and stuff. Um, I know what I like, but I'm not a big food person. I don't guess. Meathead. Oh, wow. Okay. Grilling. It's kind of quiet in here. It's unusual. Ooh. It's like my cat when she wants me to give her something. She looks at me with those big eyes. They have what? Child's Classic Library, Aesop's Illustrated Fables, ooh, a treasury of classic poetry. Oh, wow, 
watching. Oh, Alexander Pope, Milton. Oh, it's awesome. That's a beautiful book. Emily Dickinson, Walt Whitman. <laughs> Wicked Son of a Witch. This is for children? Okay. Jane Austen. I'll be honest with you, I was never a big Jane Austen fan. I'm a female, I don't think I'm actually allowed to have that opinion, but I never really cared for her. Oh, look, it's an illustrated history of travel. That's cool. That's a big book. Wow. I want to look at this. I want to look at this. Come over here. But I need a surface. I'll put it back. God, it's heavy. Smithsonian Journey, an illustrated history of travel. Ooh, a new world. Trans-Saharan salt caravans. Taking flight. Oh my gosh. You know, I've been to um, Kitty Hawk, where the Wright, bro Wright brothers flew the plane. That was really nice to get to walk out there and actually see where they flew. So this has... Let me see here. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's a beautiful picture. It's gorgeous. You have the ancient world, trade and conquest, the age of discovery, the age of empires, the age of steam, the golden age of travel, the age of flight. Cool. I like it. Ooh, I have that. The Polar Express. We have that at home. Oh, dag nabbit. The book fell over. I've got to fix it. This one, this one fell. Sorry. Put this one up here. There. Big history. These obviously are history books. 1066, that's the Norman Conquest. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just looking at this. Finding everything hmm. okay? Yes, thank you. The Henry history and the Bay Tapestry. That's the first time an employee's ever spoken to me in a store. Churchill and Orwell. Hannibal. Oh my goodness. Nice. Ancient Greece. Okay. These are cultural studies. I have the omnivore's dilemma. I have no dilemma. I'll eat anything. Problem solved. Let's see. have over here we have Bibles wow look at all the Bibles King James Version very popular um, more Bibles more Bibles more Bibles more oh my god this whole thing is Bibles holy cow coloring it's a new international version coloring Bible you know, my mom would have spanked me if I'd colored in my Bible. There's a pink Bible. I, I can't get it back in there. There we go. Word study Bible. Here's a nice size. Oh, that's nice. A little King James version. I like the purple one. Oh, oh, look at that pretty cover. That's nice. Let's see. Um, over here we have teen nonfiction. Mm, teen nonfiction. I don't, I'm not familiar with any of this stuff. Be cool. Be nice. Okay. I'll try. Almost adulting. I know grown ups who act that way, they're almost doing it. Uh, teen Romance. I'm not familiar with this either. Midnight Jewel. Then we have um, 
Keeping the moon. This is a pretty cover. I like that. This is Teen Fantasy and Adventure. The Merciless 3. Ooh, I like the covers. It's like it's holographic or something. Wow. Cool. This is also Teen Fantasy and, and Adventure. Library of Souls. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And then we have Cress, the Lunar Chronicles. Boy, that's a thick one. Nothing wrong with that. I don't read as much as I used to at all. I, I really don't. The Valiant. I used to read a lot, and I just, I don't know, I got busy, and I work, and have kids, and do this kind of stuff, and Apex. Looks like something my older son would like. He loves to read, which is great. My younger son's kind of getting into it a little bit, but he's never been much of a reader until recently. Here we have old romance novels, oh my word. Exploits of a runaway heiress. God, it could be. It could be Scarlet. Over here we have theater arts and drama. Some big old books over here. Look at that big old book there. Look at that. Ooh, that's a big book. No Fear Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet. Shakespeare side by side, plain English. Ooh, I could have used that when I was an English major. Mm mm mm. Atticus. Love her wild. We have. Yes, thank you. We have the Odyssey by Homer. I never actually got all the way through that, to be honest with you. I was supposed to read the whole thing, but I never did. I read enough to get through a class, and that was it. We have the Aeneid, book six. Seamus Heaney? Not very long. I could probably read that. And then we have The Border. This is by Steve Schaefer. Hmm. Yay! There's the bathroom. Mysteries. Dog Dish of Doom. I bet that's funny. <laughs> A Mystery by E.J. Copperman. And Dazzled with Death, the Sap Bucket Brigade Pancake Eating Contest. Nice. What's this? J.R. Ward, Devil's Cut, a Bourbon King's novel. That's a beautiful picture. I like that. Looks like a series here. Her True Match. Oh, I'm... Sure. She doesn't notice that dude standing behind her. She's not very observant. Blood Kiss. Black Dagger Legacy. What section are we in? Okay, romance. I was about to say. Okay. I don't... I just make fun of romance novels. Here we have Tammy Hook, The Ninth Girl. These are mystery novels. I thought those over there were mystery, but they're not. Then we have The Bones of You. These are skinny, skinny long books. Interesting. I can't get that thing back in there. There we go. They're tight. Bluebird, Bluebird by Attica Locke. It's an interesting picture. And then we have Let's see. Anne Perry, an echo of murder. A William Monk novel. 
Revenge in a cold river. Then we have Louise, Louise Penny, how the light gets in. One Perfect Line by Lisa Scott Scottoline, Scottoline, I'm not really sure how that's pronounced. Oh, and they have Westerns, my dad loves the Westerns. Ralph Compton, Death Among the Cimarron. He likes Louis L'Amour. I wonder if they have any Louis L'Amour books over here. Oh, Zane Grey. Yeah, he reads a lot of that stuff, too. Zane Grey, Louis L'Amour. John Williams. I'm not familiar. Oh, here's Louis L'Amour. Yeah, my dad loves these books right here. I bet he's read all of these. He never used to read a lot, but my mom loves to read and when they when they got together he kind of just picked it up from her and then they were married for 33 years and he he was a real reader during that time I think he still kind of is I always buy him a book for his birthday now this is nice I like this 365 reasons for smiling and thoughts and pictures that's a cute little dog look at that oh look at that bright yellow cover a page there. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, look at that owl. That's so cute. These are half off. Wow, that's nice. It was this. The Walking Dead, the poster collection. Wow. Interesting. I haven't really watched much of The Walking Dead. People tell me I need to, and I just... It's not that I can't get into it. I've just... I'm too busy with other stuff. Oh, it's a little thing here. A little box sign. Teachers who love teaching teach children to love learning. Now, this is just a run-on sentence. I can't get down with this. Good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. Let's see. I would have to mark this up and return it for editing. That's just... That's me. Oh, these smell interesting. Look at this. Ooh, something over here smells delightful. I guess it's just a combination of everything, but it smells good. Fresh air and sea salt. Blueberry absinthe. All kinds of crap. Okay. Books in Spanish. I don't really know any Spanish. I took one semester of it in college and I don't remember any of it. Um, over here we have test preparation. Look at all these. For all these different tests that you can take. Um, U.S. history. Lots of stuff for U.S. history. World history. The GMAT. Oh God, the GRE, I took that. You know, they say the SAT is a good indicator for how well you do on the GRE. I did way better on the GRE. I actually didn't do too well on the SAT. <laughs> but I got a good enough score to get into the college I wanted to go to, so I didn't take it again. <laughs> That's all I cared about. And then here we have workbooks. Like first grade writing skills. Star Wars. They didn't have fun workbooks when I was a kid. They didn't cater to kids. Over here are some tables of books. We have nature. Ooh, bird mania. That's awesome. Look at that bird. Birding without borders. Cool. And then over here we have the Spooky Express North Carolina. Somehow I kind of doubt this is really customized to North Carolina. It looks like that was stamped on after this. It looks different. I think they just changed the flag and its state name. Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls.
Alrighty then. That's cool. The pictures, the illustrations are nice. They're all kind of different too. That's neat. Nice. Oh look. Oh look over here. They have Harry Potter stuff. Look here. Oh that's pretty. Isn't that cool? Hello. <laughs> nice. All these little things. Oh, they even have Harry Potter umbrellas. Now that's cool. There's the Hogwarts Express engine there. And then we have little bobbleheads of the people. I guess they're bobbleheads. Maybe they're not. I don't know what they are. You don't have to tell me that either. I'm, I'm fine. Really. It's okay. Oh, look. I love snakes. I don't even care. Don't, don't. I see the names. That's cool. And then we have bow truckle that's weird looking and a crest light <laughs> and a board game you know there's a Bob Ross board game several people have uh, sent me messages on my Facebook page about it I'm gonna get one that's I think that's gonna be my Christmas present to myself this year um, I'm gonna get myself a um I said Harry Potter, um, um, Bob Ross board game, the monster book, the monster book of monsters. It's just a pillow. It's a big pillow. Lots of Harry Potter stuff. And then we have the books. We have a big copy of that. A history of magic. Nice. And then we get over here, we have Star Wars stuff. So you want to be a Jedi, beware of the power of the dark side. And they have, they have a lot of toys in here. I'm surprised at the number of toys they sell in here. But now, I haven't been in uh, the Barnes & Noble in Greensboro in a while. Maybe they're the same way now. This is cute. Look at this little thing. A little BB-8 container. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's cool. That is so cool. Cool. And over here they have Lego sets. Oh, I'm sure my kids have gotten into this. They, they love Legos. Anything with Legos, they love it. You can build this person. Oh, and Minecraft Lego sets. Yeah, they, they love that stuff. Look at that, brick heads. <laughs> Look at these little people. How sweet. Let's come over here. Oh, I just bought this for my younger son. He loves the Dog Man books. And I just got him that. A Tale of Two Kitties. He was so excited. He read it. He read the whole thing the first night he had it. I want a shirt with that on it. <laughs> Sorry, it's not very, not very mature of me, I guess. Here we have biographies. Are these? Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Grace Kelly, Hollywood Dream Girl. The Liars Club. A memoir of Mary Carr. Oh, get back in there. We have Anna Kendrick. Scrappy Little Nobody. Tincture of Time by Elizabeth Silver. Silver. And Gabori, Gabori, Gabori Sidibe. I'm sorry. I know how to say it. I'm, this is just my face. I try not to stare. I like it. And then we have Richard Russo. Elsewhere. They have weird music in here. <laughs> That's just my opinion for whatever that is worth. Jennifer Weiner, Hungry Heart. We have Queen Elizabeth. Wow. Elizabeth the Queen, The Life of a Modern Monarch. Nice. Look at that there. I mean, they have all kinds of books. Start Where You Are. A journal for self-exploration. And then we have
of bio some more biographies. We have Alec Baldwin, nevertheless. Oh, Lucille Ball, Ball of Fire. She's awesome. It's another Lucille Ball memoir right there. Right beside it. A Torch Kept Lit, William F. Buckley Jr. They have Buck, M.K. Asante. And they have Provence 1970, Luke Barr. All kinds of stuff. Betty Davis, Lauren Graham. She's funny. Um, but yeah, they got a lot of stuff in here. Look, they have all over there. They have like, they have several sections of bargain books. And then they have the children's section, sports, the clearance section, which is always a mess. Um, and over here we have thrillers and select titles are 20% off. So you have Vince Flynn, Enemy of the State. Oh, there's a Michael Creighton book. I don't have that. Dragon Teeth. I have never read that. How much is this? I may have to get that. I have not read that one. To Michael Connolly, The Late Show. The mind, the art of mindfulness. Oops, this one fell over. Ooh, The Wonder of Ponies. The Mighty World of Trucks. Minute Stories. Somehow I've wandered into a little children's section. This is just the bargain price. Uh, children's books. Christmas Unicorn. I had somebody ask me to do a video with pop-up books. I would like to do that. I actually, before I can do that though, I need to find some pop-up books. I actually don't have any right now. I need to find some pop-up books to do that with. Oh my God, look at this enormous calendar. Wow, that's awesome. My older son loves planes. He would like that. These are 2018 calendars. I had a Bob Ross calendar one year. I was thinking about trying to find another one of those for next year. So, pets, Encyclopedia of Cat Breeds, The Lion in the Living Room. I read an article online about that book, about how cats think and how they th how they see things. Parenting books. We've already kind of swooped around over here a little bit. They have these puppets, folk folk mannies. Puppets? Oh, it's a squirrel. <laughs> Ooh, a squirrel. Ooh, I like this one. This one's cool. A dragon, a dinosaur, a pig fell on the floor. Look, kind of a scary looking pig. <laughs> like he's dangerous or something. I hate to gut him like this, but I gotta stick him back up here somehow. There you go. At least it didn't go in your butt. Oh, cats. Look, it's a kitty. It's a little kitty, a black cat puppet. There's something kind of macabre about this display. <laughs> I mean, I totally get it. It's that spooky. Look at that little doggy. Hey there. Cool. Okay, I guess I better go. I have to <laughs> have some other places I need to go. Um, I just thought I would come in here and show you around a little bit in Barnes and Noble. Ooh, what the heck is that? It's clay face splat attack. Whatever the heck that is. Um, anyway, ooh, science, technology. We didn't look at any of these. But anyway, I had a couple people ask if I would come in a store like this. The only problem is the music is a little intrusive. There's not a lot I can do about that. Um, but anyway, this is uh, one of the Barnes & Noble stores in my, kind of in my area. Um, a, little, a little bit far away from home, but I was here anyway, so I thought I would show you around while I was here. And um, I hope you liked it, and uh, I'll see you again soon.